Hello, today we're talking about the LAE AC1 controller. Now, the important thing about to know about your LAE controllers is you need to make sure you understand what the controller is looking to do. This controller in particular has two relays on it. You can either use to use only one relay or you can use both relays. They're very good for things like hot cupboards or bay maries or chiller cabinets where we're only looking to drive, i.e. one compressor or a compressor and a heater, or just the one heater. So in this scenario, I'm going to take you through setting up how to set up both relays. Relay 1 will be for the compressor, relay 2 will be for the heater. So with all LAEs, we enter the parameters by pushing and holding the two end buttons. The first one you come to is SCL. Now this is a very important one. You have to make sure you check it before you go through. SCL is talking about the scale, so by pushing and holding the I button, we can use the up and down buttons to go through the parameters. So we can set it to degrees F. Two means we are not using a decimal point, we are using whole numbers only, and one means we are using decimal points. In this scenario, I'm going to use decimal points, so I'm going to leave it at one. So once I release the I button, it moves directly to the next parameter of SPL. Now this is talking about the lower limit of set point that we can choose. On this one, it's saying minus four, which is absolutely fine. If you want to, you can move it up by keeping your finger on the I button or move it down by keeping your finger on the I button as well. As soon as you release the I button, you're saved in and you move directly to the next parameter. This one is SPH for the higher limit. So again, push and hold. In this scenario, it's saying 12.5. I want to take this up to 30 degrees. So push and hold it. Climbing up 30 degrees. There we go. Release. Next one. ISP or 1SP. This is set point 1. Push and hold it. It is saying that our temperature we're looking for is 12.5 degrees. I'm going to take this up to 20 degrees. There we go, release it. Now, 1CM, this is important to know exactly how you're going to do it. This is where we choose our hysteresis or proportional distribution band. So, I always like to use hysteresis because we're talking about a physical temperature difference every time to make the compressor or the heater cut in. So, next one we're going to go to is 1CH. This one is very important because this is where we can choose whether it's going to be a refrigerator or used for heating. So this one, relay one, we're going to use it for refrigeration. So the next one we come to is 1HY. Now this is where we physically choose the differential we're talking about. So in this instance, this is 5 degrees. You can drop it down to 4 degrees, 4.5. Whatever you feel is the best for your application. This one is 1T0. Now this is the minimum off time that you want to leave the compressor off for. I always like to have the compressor resting for a, mi mi a minimum of two, possibly three minutes. And that way you stop it from short cycling. The next one is 1T1. Again, this is the opposite effect. This is a minimum on time. So it will always run for three minutes. You can increase this, you can decrease this. As pre-application, it does depend on what it's looking to do. 1PF. Now this is an important one to know. When the probe fails, do you want it to turn off or turn on the controller? If you choose to turn off, the controller will just be dormant and will not look to run anything. If you choose on, the minimum on times and the minimum off times will come into effect as what you've just set up, regardless of demand. So on this one, I'm just going to leave it off so it turns off if there's a problem. Now this is OAU, this is how we're going to set up the second relay. We have either NON for non-functional, THR for a thermostat, ALO for alarms, and ALO again is another one for alarms. In this one we're going to change it to THR, we're going to set the second relay to be a th thermostat. So this one is 2SM, so we are now going to ask is it going to be looking for absolute temperatures or relative temperatures to the previous 
relay being set up. On this one, I'm going to set it to absolute to make it easier for myself. So now 2SP, we're looking for the second set point. So in this one, by 2, I'm going to set it down to 20. Now what this means, my set point is both at 20 for the first relay and for the second relay, which means now when I come to 2CH, I have to make sure I change this to heating. Therefore, by having one at a refrigerator and one at heating, we are now using a dead band control. So 2HY, this again is our hysteresis for the second one. So we're going to change this to 4, like it was before. So now, as soon as we go under set point by 4 degrees, the heating will come on. And as per the first relay, if we go over the set point by 4 degrees, the refrigeration will come on. 2TO, again, this is for the minimum off time. You can have it resting for two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, whatever you feel. 2T1, this is minimum on time, so regardless, again, it will want to run for this amount of minutes, regardless of demand. 2PF, so if the probe fails, do you want this relay to engage and run or not? You can choose yes or no by choosing on or off, and then we can move on to the next one we're going to go to. This is ATM. Now, this is for the alarms. You can either have a for NON saying you don't want alarm. You can have ABS for the alarms being absolute, as in the exact temperatures you want to set up to, or relative, as in relative to the temperatures we've previously set up. On this occasion, I'm going to turn these alarms off. The next one is SB for standby. Do you want to enable? people to turn the controller on and off. You can change it by saying yes or no. On this occasion, we want to say yes. INP, now this is the input, so we need to know what type of probe that we have. On this controller, we can choose it being an NTC or PTC. NTC is signified by SN4, and PTC is signified by ST1. These are usually found marked on the actual cable themselves. So if you are stuck, you can always check the cable to make sure you get the right setting on here. So on this one, it's SN4. And then we can move on to OS1. Now, this is the offset. Offset means you can change it plus or minus 12.5 degrees from what it's already showing as a true mark. So zero is saying whatever the probe reads, it will read and display on the controller. And you can vary this up or down depending if your controller is in a too hot area or too cold area. The next is TLD. Now this is the um, delay for minimum temperature and maximum temperature for logging. Most people tend not to use this, but it's set to five. I tend not to change it. Next one is SIM. This is for display slow down. This is set to zero, but you can change it up to a maximum of 100, and this slows down the reaction of the display on the controller. So at zero is every time the temperature changes on the probe, it will physically change it on the controller as well. ADR, we're talking about if you have multiple LAEs linked up with the communication device for central controlling, you'll need to number them up one, two, three, all the way up to 255 if needs be. But if you don't have anything like that, leave it as number one, and then you'll notice you come all the way back around to the beginning, SCL. Once you're happy and done everything, you press the off button, you're back to as you are.